Good afternoon from WKYT News. I'm Barbara Bailey. I'm Bill Bryant. Here's what's happening at noon. A deadline put in place by the city of Lexington for the work to begin at the Centerpoint project is set to expire today. But developer Dudley Webb says concrete for the site is being poured as we speak. WKYT's Sean Moody is live downtown now with the very latest. It's our top story at noon. Hey, Barb and Bill. Dudley Webb told me that he doesn't expect to hear anything from the city today or tomorrow. He said as far as he's concerned, he thinks everyone's moved past that restoration agreement deadline. If you look down here into the center point site right now, you can see there are workers in the corner of the pit. This is at Limestone and Vine Street. Webb said they are starting on the concrete work for the underground parking garage. Now, according to an email from Mason Miller, an attorney representing the city to the council back in February, the restoration agreement called for center point to either complete the garage or restore the site to pre-construction condition, that is the fenced-in grassy lot, by March 30th. Otherwise, the city would have the right, but not the obligation, that email said, to enter into the property itself on or after March 31st. Webb said that isn't exactly what the agreement said, and he said that he has met the requirements. He said as far as he's concerned, the parties have put that restoration agreement behind them. In an interview earlier this month, Webb said no one was pointing fingers and everyone wants to move forward together. Nobody's more tired of that hole than I. That cost $7 million to dig that hole. And we wouldn't have spent it had we known we were going to have those bonds. But we did, and now we've got to fill it. So there we're, we're putting the building there versus putting dirt back in it, which made no, no sense. Now, I also called the city spokesperson this morning to ask about any possible action that the city might come, uh, the city might take to tomorrow or the next day. She said the city had no comment. Live in Lexington, Sean Moody, WKYT. Sean, thank you. And Webb has said he expects the garage to take eight to ten months and then another year for the rest of the project.